And this is the Titanic exhibition here in the other drawing office. And this is what the drawing office used to be like back in the day. This is drawing office two with Naval Architects 1912. And you can read that for yourselves. And this exhibition, unfortunately, is only here for uh, the first month of the hotel's opening. So if you want to see this, you need to get down here pronto. Living history. And it's great that the, the Titanic Hotel has taken over these buildings because they will be retained forever. I see, that's the Star of Bengal built in Harden was 1874. And that's the pneumatic, of course. That's out the front. And this is the submarine depot ship HMS Adamant, 1940. A white Star poster. And there's the Olympic and the Titanic together. And there's the Eulidia. And there's the original SS Britannic. Probably the most famous ship since Noah's Ark. Minesweeper HMS Kill Darton, 1967. And this is the tanker Marina, 1967. And you've got to ask yourself, what happened to our shipbuilding industry and why is there a German shipbuilding industry and a French and an Italian shipbuilding industry and there isn't a, a Belfast or UK shipbuilding industry in any real sense. There's not one cruise ship has been built in the UK over the last almost 50 odd years. There's a deck plan of the nomadic. This is a fabulous place. This is all about Harlem and Wolf. And Titanic. And that's the Olympic and the Sequest mentioned there too. Our old gantry with Titanic and Olympic under construction. And then Samson and Goliath. On a clear day, the twin giants can be seen from as far away as Sleeve Burner in the mountains of Mourne, 40 miles away. And this is all information about uh, the Canberra. Nineteen sixty. Last ever ocean liner. Aluminium used to form the superstructure. This is talking about the Britannic's engine and the SS Southern Cross in dock nineteen fifty five.
This is all about the war years. And that's Britannic serving as a World War I hospital ship. And of course the uh, German bombers were after that Harald and Wolf. Oil rigs. Belfast shipbuilding, <laughs> Belfast shipbuilding industry leading the world. What happened? So, a lot of history being documented here. And I'm just looking at some of the. Um, the industries, flax milling, flax spilling. Oh dear. And I'm just looking at some of the uh, historic industries associated with Belfast. Flax spinning, tobacco, shipbuilding, Cantle and Cochrane, Sirocco. Yeah, all gone. Why? Rope works. Gone. Designing a ship. Complex business. Look at the old boys wearing bowler hats and three piece suits. <laughs> this was in the 1950s. How things have changed. Edward builds the ships, Mr. Perry makes the speeches, and as for me, I smoke the cigars. Gustav Wolf. I would reckon he did more than smoke a few cigars. There's Lord Perry. And right. These are the principal men who uh, made Hard and Wolf. So we've got Harland, Wolf, Wilson, Perry, Carlisle, Thomas Andrews Jr., and Rebeck. Giants of shipbuilding. We are standing in what was once the nerve centre of the world's greatest shipbuilders, whose empire included yards in London, Glasgow, Southampton, and Liverpool. Communications room on an Atlantic liner, 1912.
some of the original plaster work and items memorabilia from the time of the Titanic. original creeping in there all the time. And these features at the time were innovatory. And there's the yard as it was, looking straight down. It says in that circle there, you are here. There's a hive of construction. Every decision on the design and construction of Harland and Wolf's ships was made here. So these are the various launch parties. There's Queen Elizabeth. Or Princess Elizabeth as she was then uh, launching the carrier HMS Eagle, 1946. And Countess Granville, HMS Bulwark. Queen Elizabeth 1954 uh, and this is, uh, I don't know who this lady is down at the bottom. And this plaque on the wall lists the names of many of the, uh, the ships that Harland and Wolf made. And this is all information about the drawing offices. And how it expanded over the years to cope. And this has all been lovingly restored. by the hotel.
and there's a sister hotel over in Liverpool. Sister Titanic Hotel. I'm just delighted to have this opportunity to catalogue this on video. This is part of our industrial heritage. A heritage that was known right around the globe. Known and admired right around the globe. And unfortunately, a heritage that has not continued. <laughs> 